how does a router select its OSPF router ID in OSPF domain? Just like we discussed, each router in an OSPF domain has a router ID. But the question is that how does this router get its router ID? For example, let's configure OSPF in here. I will use general commands to enable OSPF quickly on all the interfaces. Enable configure terminal router OSPF1 network the general command to enable OSPF on each and every interface of this router area 0. Do show history and let me simply copy this command for router number 2 and 3 as well. Enable done and then router 3. Let me just remove this loop back. Interface loop back zero, no IP address, or we can say IP show IP interface brief. Yeah, so there. IP is removed okay and then we configure OSPF in here done so I have configured OSPF in all three routers and this router has got a neighborship already do show IP OSPF neighbors and we have a neighbor which is router number two okay now let's check let's go to router number one and in router number one, let's check what is the show IP OSPF. Here we can see the router ID for this router is router is 1.1.1. So how has this router got this IP address or this router ID? How did it decide that it should be 11111? Similarly, if I go to router number two and I run this command, do show IP OSPF here we can see the router ID it has got already 222 but we did not configure the router ID I just enabled OSPF so how did this router got this IP this ID similarly do show IP OSPF here what is the router ID 192168 so how did it get that's why I removed 33 you know to give you an idea so how did it receive this 192.168.0.1 definitely we know that this is the IP address of this interface dot one but how did it decide so there are some rules based on which each OSPF router selects or elects its router ID so what are those rules let's see the first rule is first of all it gets the router ID manually if we give the command router dash ID and then we manually select we give an input to the router ourselves that okay we want this ID to be the router ID then it picks up that one so this is the first preference but if let's say we forgot or we didn't give any router ID so how did it select then then it selects through highest loopback address loopback is a virtual interface which each router has or which we can configure multiple loopbacks so the highest loopback address but let's say we also do not have any loopback address then how does it get the router id ospf router id so then it selects highest physical ip address on the router whichever is highest then this will become the router id so now let's see how all these three routers they got the router ID. First, this router has not received any router ID, not manually. So it got a router ID of 1.1. .1. This one got a router ID of 2.2.2. .2 we just saw from, from the commands that this router has got 192.168.0.1. 1. 
so based on the first rule if we check one by one so manually configured we did not configure manually on any of these three routers so this rule is bypass second highest loopback address so what was the highest loopback address of this router if you go to this router and check show ip interface brief show ip interface brief then we can see that the there is only one loop back which is highest loop back if there is 2.2 it will choose that one 3.3 it will choose that but currently only one loop back which is 111 so simply it has selected this loop back as its router id so the router id for router 1 followed this second rule similarly second router it has only one loop back address which is 2.2 so it picks up that one as well the third router since it does not have any loop back address there is loop one loop back but there is no ip on that which means it doesn't exist show ip interface brief so there is only one loop back which has no ip address i just removed it before election so then what does it do so it will check okay how many other normal ports have ip addresses fa0/1 has an address of 2323.3 and another address 1/1 has 192.168 so which one is bigger out of these two definitely 192.168 so it has used the rule number 3 highest physical so it has chosen this one as router id so in this way all these three routers have received these router ids in case if i manually configure i overrule i can also change the router ids for example i can say router dash id let's say 9.9.9 that's all and then do do clear ip ospf process yes and then do show ip ospf now you can see what is the router id so every time we make some change to the ospf then we have to clear it one time the process just like to give a reset to the ospf so the router id is 999 which rule we are following when this router got this one the first rule manually configured so first of all it will check have we manually configured if we forgot it picks up the highest loop back otherwise it chooses the highest physical ip address of the router so this is how the routers they select their ospf router id these three rules very simple